Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I am making a surprise cake for my daughter, Rihanna, who is graduating high school tomorrow night. We are so excited because it's been a while since they were trying to figure out how to put this all together. So they've got it down and she is going to walk outside on a stadium. So we're super excited about that. I know she likes black forest cake, so I'm gonna be doing a twist on this, and there's gonna be like three delicious, simple layers, you guys. And this is great for picnics, parties, whatever you wanna use it, okay? You're gonna love this one. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make your cakes and then have those cooled completely before we start on step two. So I am just using a regular box of cake mix and this flavor is devil's food. It's gonna go really good with the other two layers that I'm gonna create for this cake that I'm making, okay? So on the back of the box, you're gonna follow the instructions, okay, of how to make it. Now, if you wanna make your own homemade cake, you can certainly do that also. So I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I've got two pans here that I'm just going to lightly spray with some cooking spray. Now I'm using Baker's Joy here because it's got flour in it and it'll help release the cakes out of the pan. So I'm just gonna spray them. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside and then we're gonna start mixing up our cake mix. Okay, in a large bowl, I'm going to add my cake mix. I'm gonna add my water, one and a quarter cups. Now I've got one half cup of melted butter. You can even use half a cup of oil if you would like. I like the butter because it just adds a richness to whatever you're putting it in. So I got that. Now I've got my three eggs here. I'm gonna crack them into a small bowl and then put them into my large bowl here. That way we make sure we don't get any shells that we can't pull out of our mixture there. Okay, so I've got my hand mixer here that I'm gonna be using, and it's gonna take about two minutes to blend this all together and get it nice and smooth. You can even use a wooden spoon if you want and mix it by hand. Just give it about two minutes, and that way it'll be nice and smooth and you'll get all the lumps out of there. We're gonna go ahead now and set aside our batter here and bring over our cake pans. And I'm gonna evenly place the batter into my cake pans. All right, I'm just going to even out the layers here before I stick them into my oven. You can use a nine by 13 baking dish and do a single layer. You can do it that way also if you want. Okay guys, once these come out of the oven and they are cooled completely, I'm gonna show you our next fun, easy step. Okay, let's go ahead and make our middle and top layer, which is our cream cheese cake filling that we're gonna make. Now I've got eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm just gonna put it into a large bowl. I'm gonna add one cup of powdered sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, I'm gonna use my hand mixer here and I'm gonna blend this together until it's nice and whipped up. It's nice and whipped. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a container of Cool Whip, and this is eight ounces. Ooh, 
Look how nice and whipped that looks. Let's give this a try. Yes, let's. <laughs> you always have to feed your cameraman. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh, let's bring the cakes back over here and let's finish these off. Okay, so I took one cake out of the pan and I laid it upside down on a plate here. And what I'm going to do is take half of my cream cheese mixture and put that on top. Now I'm just using an offset spatula here. This will help keep the cream cheese mixture from pulling that cake layer up. You know, we don't want that. So, y'all, I was going to do a one layer, and I was like, nope, we're going to do a two layer here. Since it made two cakes, why not? And this was a double batch of cream cheese frosting. All right. So we're just going to go around and make sure that we can see it on the edges before we put our other layer on. I'm just gonna kind of pull it up to the edges there. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna put the second layer on. Okay, so I'm gonna lay the flat side down on top of the flat side. Make sure it's all nice and even. Now I'm going to add the rest of the cream cheese frosting right onto the top. And we're going to bring it over to the edges here. Okay, I'll leave a little bit in the bowl for my cameraman. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is looking so good. My daughter's gonna be so happy. She was banned from the house for a couple of hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now we've locked her in a room. I know. <laughs> Which she was very happy to go into anyway. You know how kids are. Teenagers. Yeah, they just got everything she needs in that room. Yeah. Probably okay. Let's get going with that last layer that we're gonna put on. Here's the secret right here, guys. Black Forest Cake, cherries. I'm using a cherry pie filling. What I'm gonna do is spoon it onto my cream cheese frosting, pressing it into it so they don't, you know, roll off the cake. Okay. <laughs> we don't want that happening. Oh, yum. See those cherries in there? All right, y'all, just you know, take your time with it. I'm gonna start in the center here. Just press it in. Okay, y'all, if these fall off, that's totally fine. What we're gonna do is once I get all of these on there, we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator so it all solidifies together on the top there. Okay, I got people stealing spatulas and bowls with that cream cheese frosting. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. See? You gotta ban everybody from the kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, you can make an amazing, delicious looking dessert with just simple ingredients. Look at that. And then some of this juice will probably just roll to the bottom down there, which is totally fine. But it, push them in there, okay? Push it into the frosting. There we go. Oh my goodness. What event are you bringing this to? A barbecue? Fourth of July? A graduation? <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy summer. I was gonna try to get them all on here. Trying to find empty spots here. I think right there. Yeah. That looks like a good spot. Okay, guys, look at that right there. I'm gonna place this in my refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour, and that will help these cherries that are in that syrup solidify into that cream cheese frosting. Guys, I can't wait to cut into this one.
Hey guys, I have my 2020 high school graduate here. <laughs> she is going to try the cake that I made for her, her favorite. Tell me what you think. It's a black forest cake. Oh, we got that cream cheese frosting. I went ahead and did a double layer here. And then we have the cherry pie filling on top. Oh my God. Is it everything? It's good, huh? Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, here it is, you guys. Can you see there's some pieces missing? <laughs> we couldn't wait. All right, y'all. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you all make this and enjoy it. It's awesome. Give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows are posted. I have over 500 videos out there. Y'all enjoy them. Okay. We will see you on my next episode. Bye.